Just, just uh, kind of no. some initial thoughts on being in this regional. Again, I, I think we're here a year ago and talked about how good this regional was. Uh, and once again, I think it's a really good regional from top to bottom. Um, I think all the clubs are really balanced. You look at some of the numbers, and I think in a lot of regionals, you find clubs that are good offensively or on the mound. There's a lot of balance to what uh, to the teams we have here, so we're excited to be here. I think McGregor started maybe some of your third games on weekends. What, what's the process on getting him to this start? Oh, I don't know. He's been really consistent all year long. I think you look back at last year, he started every Friday night for us, so... He's pitched in a lot of different roles on a lot of different days. Uh, we just felt good with, with Justin walking out here game one. You had some success against them, against Arkansas through four last year. Yeah. Just hoping to carry that over. I think Miguel did too. I think both those guys pitched well in, in moments. We're going to have to have a great effort on the mound. We understand that. We're going to have to get really good work out of our bullpen um, to be able to stay in it. So uh, Justin's a guy that's been really consistent. We feel good with what he's doing, so he's going to get game one start. What do you think about the two freshmen that Arkansas added to their lineup in Casey Martin and Heston Kirsten? They're really good. <laughs> I think you look at what they've done to this point, and they've been they've been really good. They've been really solid, and uh, you know, again, we're going to have to pitch really well to get those guys out. Is it nice though for your team to be facing a lot of guys that they faced a year ago? I don't know. I hope so. You know, I think uh, we're familiar with Arkansas. We're familiar with the venue, so hopefully that brings some kind of comfort uh, to what we have. Uh, we have a lot of experience, especially on the mound that returns from a year ago, so hopefully that brings something to the table this weekend. Does it make it a little easier <clears throat> having guys, having kind of the core that was here last year that they don't get starstruck when you walk into sure. the big, they're used to a big crowd and all that? I don't know if it makes it any easier because the teams are really good, uh, but again, I think some of the experience from a year ago brings some comfort level to what's going on, sure. Thoughts, I guess, thoughts on going against Blaine Knight? Yeah, he's really good. Uh, you know, it's a guy that brings a lot to the table. Uh, good arm strength, good breaking ball, has command. So he's a guy that's a well-rounded pitcher that's not a one-pitch guy that you can kind of take one pitch away and be good with. You're going to have to get him deep in some counts, and you're going to have to make some big swings and uh, in some big moments to be able to stay in it with him. So uh, it's a big challenge for us, but we're looking forward to it. How much have you looked into Southern Miss and Dallas Baptist? Or is it kind of just a yeah. and see how it goes? You know, Dallas Baptist is a team we've already played this year, so we're familiar with them as well. Haven't looked a whole lot at Southern Miss. Going to get a chance to see them. Uh, but up front, we know they're a really good club, really balanced club from top to bottom. They have first-team All-American that's going to uh, that's going to run out there. Um, they have a first-team All-American in the middle of the lineup with a lot of really good role players surrounding him. So, uh, again, it's another team in this regional that's good top to bottom. How would you describe the makeup of your team and what you guys are? You know what? We're, we're a team that brings some experience, number one, and I think we're a team that has a lot of resiliency. We started uh, – we, we played well, really well at the beginning of the year, hit a rough stretch for about – four or five weeks, hit about a month stretch, and then we rebounded and we played really well down the stretch. So I think this is a team that continues to kind of get better and grow and establish their identity, but uh, it's a team that's going to come in here and play nine innings. Like the early game, of playing the late game? I, don't, I don't know that it matters a whole lot. Uh, I think it's going to be a great atmosphere either way, uh, and we're looking forward to it. You said Saturday that you liked, you really liked how you guys are playing. Yeah. You get better every time out. I assume nothing's changed in yeah. five days. Since no, that. not at all. I think we had a good week of preparation. Uh, we're able to recover a little bit. We had some guys dinged up. We feel like we're getting healthier uh, at the right time. We're playing well at the right time. I think, uh, again, Jonathan, as you, as you followed us, we've continued to get better over the last really two months of the season, and we feel good with where we're at right now. Having Miguel there to, to pitch game two, no matter the outcome tomorrow night, Obviously, it's not easy. It's not a security thing, but knowing that you yeah. have a senior to go, does that make yeah. that a little, little easier to stomach? Well, and I'll even stretch that a little bit. When you're talking about Justin McGregor, he's a senior. Miguel's a senior. Josh McMinn's pitched in a lot of big games, who's a junior. Then you look at the back end of our bullpen with Brady Womax and Kyler Stout. Both guys have done it and done it at a high level. So feel good with where we're at on the mound right now. This time last year, you talked about wanting to get an Arkansas series going. Coach Van Horn said earlier today you guys are going to play next year. Yeah. Just yeah. Kind of that yeah, we're excited about it. I think geographically it makes a lot of sense. Easy trip for, for both teams, and, and hopefully we bring something to the table. So we're excited to get it going again. Yeah, Justin being an upperclassman, does that make the decision to throw in the first game a little bit easier? Yeah, absolutely. I think we, we have confidence in all three of those guys. All three of those guys have pitched on a Friday night game this year and started game one. Again, Justin's a guy that pitched every Friday for us a year ago. So 
Uh, it's, it's a much easier decision when you have three guys who are really experienced, two of them a senior, one of them a junior. So uh, it was an easy decision for us. It's good. I, we, we feel good with what's going on in our bullpen. Those guys have really been the strength of the staff all year long. Uh, we're fairly healthy, so uh, looking into it, we, we feel like we're ready to go in the bullpen.